Interview question about familiarity with a programming language. I've done a rash of interviews lately. I have a pool of questions I generally operate on. One of them was, rate your experience with X language from 1 to 10. Well guess what? Everyone rated themselves a 7 or 8. Both people with no business doing so and the 20 plus years experience guys would say 8. So I dropped the question and attempted to rephrase but it just ended up confusing. I generally still ask questions that give me an idea on their experience but is there a way to ask this question in a meaningful way or is it just a bum question to ask? You asked, is there a way to ask this question in a meaningful way or is it just a bum question to ask? I don't think there's a meaningful version of this question. Questions with simple, numeric answers. I'm a 7. Seem attractive because they're easy to ask, but they're not always meaningful. Ultimately, the core flaw in this question is that it's a self-evaluation with no relationship to the actual needs you're hiring for. My perception of my skills may not match up to the general public's perception of my skills, even if we can agree on a generic scoring criteria. And as you're discovering, many people will rate themselves too high or, at least, the distribution of self-selected scores will be skewed too high. Just go sit on a busy street corner and ask everyone who drives by, are you better at driving than the average driver? And I will bet that more than 50% of people think they're better than average. Perhaps more importantly, asking someone to rate their experience has essentially zero relevance to what your specific needs likely are. For instance, I've hired for a team of SQL developers who were tasked with building a large and complicated data warehouse. Yes, they used SQL as their primary language, but we had pretty specific needs around specific types of problems. Instead of asking candidates for a generic SQL rating, I would focus on those problems. And instead of asking for ratings at all, I would focus on getting the person to tell a story. So, instead of asking, rate yourself on SQL, I would ask, can you tell me about a time you were writing SQL code to work with a large block of data? How did you make decisions about where to look for performance improvements? Or, let's say you need to build a data model that will have transaction data loaded via a batch job every night. Then, throughout the day, users will be running reports on the data. How do you decide on an appropriate level of structuring and processing to do during the batch job, versus doing things at runtime when reports are requested? This way, you get the candidate to actually talk about their skills, and talk about problems they've solved, or how they would approach theoretical problems. While some people will try to fib their way through these questions, it becomes fairly easy to spot people who wouldn't be able to accurately self-assess. It also gives you a lot of context details about the person's thought processes. Anyone with Google can find all kinds of reference material about how to write SQL code, I don't expect developers to memorize everything in the language. Basically, I'm not trying to find a literal SQL expert. Instead, what I'm looking for are people who can use SQL to solve the specific problems I know I will have on my team. Getting a candidate to tell stories or explain their thought process is much more meaningful for that kind of evaluation than asking them to self-assign an arbitrary numeric score.